rapid fire questionnaire? I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I think I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're going to ask me, but we'll see. <laughs> All right. What's your favorite midnight snack? My favorite midnight snack probably is <laughs> some almonds, um, some grapes, and some kale chips. That's when I'm on my healthy dean. What's your favorite superhero? My favorite superhero, that hippo. My favorite superhero is uh, Batman. Batman's a homie because he's smart and he wear all black, like what's your, Dracula. What's your biggest strength? My biggest strength is my ability to connect dots, right? So I like to take big concepts and connect them to practical things. What's your biggest weakness? My biggest weakness is probably, um, man, that's tough. So my biggest weakness is probably not really putting myself out there. I get afraid of that sometimes. What's your favorite sea animal? My favorite singing animal? Sea animal. Oh, I'm like, how many animals sing? Uh, my favorite sea animal? Oh, definitely. Sharks. I'm obsessed with sharks. Jim Carrey or Will Ferrell? Uh, oh, that's easy. Jim Carrey. You know what I'm saying? Jim Carrey came up off one of the hood shows in Living Color. So that's the homie right there. And I ain't even know much about Jimmy. What's his name? What's the other dude? Will yeah, him. I ain't know much about Will Ferrell until late on in life. I think somebody showed me the movie Elf, and I was like, this dude funny. <laughs> yeah. What's a movie that made you cry? A movie that made me cry was uh, Notebook. A notebook. That, that mug was definitely a tearjerker. You know what I'm saying? What's your favorite number? My favorite number? Uh, that's weird. I don't even, like, I don't even know what a favorite number would do. Like, if my favorite number was six, when would I even use that? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, it's irrelevant. I don't get it. So I don't have a favorite number. I don't know what the point would be. What's your favorite color? My favorite color? I mean, it's kind of the same thing. But I do like, um, I like blue, I guess. Boys like blue, right? How would you describe yourself? I would describe myself as a few different things. One, I would say fragmented. I feel like I am a collection of just small pieces. I don't really feel whole in a lot of ways, but at the same time, that makes me curious and it makes me creative and, 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 uh, and I want to learn and I want to live and just to feel that sense of wholeness. So, yeah. What was your first job? My first job was I was uh, I was a dishwasher at Ponderosa. <laughs> that was one of my favorite jobs. Yeah. Are you a Democrat or Republican? Democrat or Republican? Oh my goodness, uh, homie, I ain't left wing, homie, I ain't right wing, cause both of the wings flapping on the same bird. I don't, I, don't, I, I mean, I get politics. You know, I try to indulge, but it's not my thing. It's like a sport. It's like one of those things you gotta really be invested into. And I don't necessarily always know the outcome, and it's just, it's just not my cup of tea, but, you know, I participate. So neither, to answer the question, I'm neither. Do you have a hidden talent? Do I have a hidden talent? Um, my hidden talent probably is my ability to clean something down to the bone. I'm a neat freak. I'm obsessed with neatness and cleanness. So if you ever need your closet organized, your stove tip-top clean, Holla at the kid. I got you. What advice would you give to your younger self? Man, what advice would I give to my younger self? Um, be more courageous in terms of taking risk and learning multiple perspectives. I feel like a lot of the things I learned were very narrow. And the older I got, I started to see, man, there's something from here, from here, from here, from here that I can take and make my own, yeah. What's your workout regimen? My workout regimen, um, or regimen, some people say. Really, I like to at least do cardio uh, three to four days out the week, and I really do calisthenics. So I'm not trying to like get super buff or none of that, but I like to do my push-ups, my sit-ups, my squat thrusts, AKA burpees, and uh, yeah, that's me. My dips, all that, yeah. Will you ever be done with music? No, never. 
never, I never be done with music. For me, it's just, it's just fun. It's therapeutic, as we say, and uh, it's just a way for me to get what's on the inside of me out. So never, 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 never. What are some misconceptions about you? I think some misconceptions, man, that's hard. Some misconceptions about me would probably be that like I'm underrated or I wish Flame would have gotten more and people feel like that's true for me and they want that for me, but I don't necessarily feel like that's the case. I think that's the way people, some people may see me, but I feel very content. I came from the bottom. So I feel like I'm beyond blessed. I have more than what I deserve or what I ever would have expected or imagined. But salute to the people that's that's rooting for me. What's your least favorite food? My least favorite food, I'm going to make that plural. My least favorite foods are anything that I cannot chew. If it's mushy, if it's of the consistency or the texture of something like applesauce, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Do you like social media? Do I like social media? Ah, uh, I like the people, you know what I'm saying? But I don't like that world. It's like a middle earth. It's like a, uh, a bizarro world. And I, I just, it's not my favorite place to hang out. I do it because I have to and I try to make the most of it. But to answer the question, not for real. <laughs> What's your scariest childhood memory? My scariest childhood memory is probably, I remember I was a kid and my mom, um, a lot of people know she suffers from schizophrenia, uh, depression, in and out of psych wards all my life, stuff like that. And I remember the first time I encountered it as a kid, I saw her being taken to a psych ward. It almost seemed like against her will. And when I saw that, it was traumatizing. And I remember I broke out in hives. And it was just, it was, it was traumatic, man. And it, it stuck with me. That's one of my most frightening experiences as a kid. What's your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show? Uh, <laughs> Man, it's hard. Uh, I'm gonna say Martin. Martin was super funny. Yeah, Martin. Martin. How did it feel when you were nominated for a Grammy? Woo! The Grammy nod. That was dope because I wasn't expecting it. Um, it was an album that I worked really hard on, and when I got the call, I didn't believe it, and it turned out to be true. And uh, I actually went, and it was fun. But yeah, that was crazy. What's something that makes you mad? Something that makes me mad, ooh, that's tough. It takes a lot to make me mad. I'm not a, like a fly off the handle type dude. But something that would probably make me mad would be somebody that I know turning against me. Like that would, those things infuriate me. Cause I'm like, man, you know me. You know my pedigree. You know the caliber of person I am. And you gon', you know what I'm saying? So yeah. What's your favorite accessory? My favorite accessory is probably a bandana. I like bandanas. What's a favorite country you visited? Woo! Favorite country? Or country. Or countries. My favorite continent, you didn't ask me that, but it's Africa. And the countries that I visited were uh, Kenya, Zimbabwe, Malawi, South Africa, Zambia. So for me, that was a life altering, life changing, Forever impactful experience, so I'm gonna go. That's my, those my top five. But I've been everywhere though, everywhere except like Antarctica. <laughs> What's your first musical memory? My first musical memory, hmm, that's a good one. Let me see. Probably, whoo, as a kid, <laughs> I heard this rap group called NWA, and I was listening to it, and it was crazy. And it was provocative and it was something I knew I wasn't supposed to be listening to and it made it that much more better. And I remember I went and got a bootleg cassette tape of it and uh, that's how I got started in hip hop. What's something, this is the last question, what's something you need every morning? Something I need every morning? I need a lot of time. I need a lot of space and time because I don't like the rush. I like to slowly and, you know, a, a slight crescendo in the way I get my day started. So I need a lot of time. I don't like to rush. Whenever I rush, I start forgetting stuff and I get cranky and weird. So, uh, yeah, I need space and time, time and space. All right, well, thank you for that. Yeah, that was good. That was